Hello, 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 my YouTube subscribers. I'm your host, Josie Latimer, coming to you once again with Celebrity Talk and Variety Show. Today, my topic is about Kim Kardashian and her new brand, Kimono. Kim Kardashian came out with a line of shapewear for women of all sizes to give them that perfect fit so that their clothes would look good. However, the name Kimono did not set well with many, many people, including Chrissy Tijan. She called her out on it. She said, Chrissy said, I love the idea of the garments. However, the name is not appropriate for those particular garments. Kim has heard this from many people, including the Japanese people, which encouraged her to also change that name. The Japanese BBC News editor said it was outrageous and it was culturally offensive to them. And Kim did decide to change the name. I think that was very, very wise of her to do so because anytime you put out a brand and all the negatives come before you put it out, that brand would probably uh, not be as profitable as it would have been if you had more positives in the very beginning. So that was really, really wise. Um, that name Kimono, it kind of fits with Kim. Like right now, she kind of looked like she had that Japanese look like um, uh, Russell Simmons' ex-wife. And uh, she just looks like uh, she has that look. However, um, the brand was not appropriate. And so Kim did decide to change. And I think that was really, really nice of her because I know she put a lot of work into that name. It takes a long time to figure out a name that you feel within yourself that you want to use. She says she did it with the best intentions in mind. She didn't think about the backlash uh, regarding that name. She felt that that was a name appropriate for her, her undergarments. However, it raised concerns of culture appropriation. No one really liked it and uh, the Japanese people didn't like it. They spoke out about it. And like I say, Chrissy spoke out about it. So Kim did the right thing. And she says, I will consider changing the name and I will come back later and let everybody know what name I will use. So now she's back at the drawing table with the name. What do you guys think? I think she did the wise thing. I really do. I think that was wise of her to consider changing her name, even though she has to go through going back to the drawing table on that. Uh, I know when I did a brand, it took me a long, long time. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of them in order to uh, come up with the name that I wanted. And I know for her, she's probably um, paid a lot of money to get this brand off the ground. But uh, I can't understand why people around her wouldn't tell her that that name, because of it being a Japanese name, and the president uh, dealing with you know Japan and trying to get everything right, and uh, she could have used another name, but she probably wasn't thinking. She, like she said, I think she's trying to be an attorney, a lawyer, and she's busy and her mind is just, she probably just wasn't thinking. So someone should have uh, told her because remember the president uh, granted her her wishes of getting a couple of people out of prison, especially I remember the black lady that she helped uh, was in prison. I think it, I don't know if it was for drugs or something, but anyway, he did her that favor. And so um, I think uh, with the Japanese stuff going on between the president and Japan, trying to get things right, I think she did the right thing because she actually probably thought she was helping the situation, you know, period. I think that's what she thought. I didn't think she caused, meant any harm, but um, she has a good heart because she is changing her brand. She is, and she's doing the right thing because that could just really, really uh, make her products not be as profitable as they would be with her doing what she's doing. Matter of fact, I think her, her brand now will sell even more. I mean, they're just gonna fly off of the shelf because of the fact of her honoring people that have called her out with naming um, the undergarments kimono. Also, the Japanese women, they felt that kimono for them uh, means like the kimono dress opposed to it being lingerie. So it would have been just a lot of stuff going on negative about it. 
So Kim, I think you did the right thing. What do you think, subscribers? Do you think she did the right thing? Let me know in my comments. And I'm going to uh, make this show very brief uh, because previously I've been talking about the Malia Davis story, uh, the woman in New York that killed her two twins and all of the uh, parents that are taking our babies off the planet of the earth. And so I wanted to come today with something a little different and that's why I grabbed to this story with Kim Kardashian. So what do you think about Kim changing her name from Kimono? I'm quite sure Kimono was set in her mind. Oh boy, she probably had her mind set Kimono. Because the name sounds good, however, it just didn't fit uh, the undergarments. Let me know what you think and uh, leave your comments. And I really, really appreciate you tuning in to me. Click like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be coming back with more of Celebrity and Variety Talk. I'm your host, Josie Latimer. And as I said, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.